Optical visual networks provides users the ability to monitor the network health of an unlimited number of OT networks around the clock for free. To do this, we'll use Optical Network's Free Capture Tool, a local application available for Windows and Linux that captures BACnet data on a schedule and seamlessly uploads it to your Optical Visual Networks account. Head over to Optical Network's Knowledge Base page. The link is in the description of this video. Download the tool to your laptop and run the installer. Once installed, open a Google Chrome web browser and type https colon double backslash localhost colon 4000. If Google Chrome warns that this may be unsafe, click on Advanced and proceed to localhost. To log into the capture tool, type admin in lowercase for the username field and underscore admin underscore in the password field. Once logged in, click CloudLink. Under server address, type app.optigovn.com. To find the API key, go to your Optigo Visual Networks account and select the monitoring node where you'd like these captures to import. With the monitoring node selected in Optigo Visual Networks, click Settings along the top navigation. There you'll find the API key needed for the capture tool. Copy it, then navigate back to the capture tool and paste the API key. Once that's done, Verify the cloud connection icon on the left-hand side of the capture tool. If an internet connection is available, it should be green, indicating that the capture tool has successfully established a cloud connection to Optigo Visual Networks. Next, configure a schedule, which dictates the length and frequency of your captures. We recommend capturing data continuously in one-hour increments. This ensures your OT network's activity is monitored 24-7, so that Optigo Visual Networks can immediately alert you of network health deterioration. Choose hourly in the repeat field, every 60 minutes, starting a few minutes from the current time. Under end repeat, select never. Click create schedule to save these settings. Finally, in the capture options, configure the type of BACnet traffic you want to capture. I'll choose BACnet IP for this example. Under Capture Interface, choose the correct Network Interface Controller, or NIC, which can be found in the Windows Network settings of your computer. Next, configure which UDP ports to capture on. By default, the tool captures on the standard BACnet ports 47808 to 47823. If you have BACnet data on other ports, enter them here, separated by commas. If you're using the JACE wiretap feature that's available to users of Niagara 4 and above, Enter 49,000 here. Click Save. Finally, click Capture on the left navigation bar, then click the Play button. You should see packets being captured, indicating that you've completed the process successfully. If you don't see packet data collected, you may need to reconfigure the NIC. If the Capture tool is collecting packets, but captures are not uploading to Optical Visual Networks, you may need to request that your IT team whitelist app.optigovn.com in their firewall settings.